Hi tubers, here's this little GX160 Honda motor that we've uh, selected for our mini bike project and we said in an earlier video that we were going to remove the governor. Guys, I've tore this engine down to a point where I've left the governor inside the block. To remove these governors guys, you are going to loosen the securing bolt on the governor arm and simply lift it off. There's a small clip that holds this governor arm into the block. I've already taken it off and this governor arm will slide right out of the block. In the inside of the block, this is the governor and to remove the governor out of the block, you're going to slide this little plastic comb off and down inside, and I'm not sure how well you're going to see this guys, there's a small clip that holds this governor on. I've already taken this small clip off. You're going to slide the governor out of the block and discard it. The governor shaft that's inside the block, I leave them in there. They're not going to hit anything or cause any problems. Um, I have ordered bearings and seals for this engine and when we get them, we will start the reassembly uh, process. By removing the governor out of these engines, the factory set governor pull on these is 3200. With the governor gone and an aftermarket carburetor, these engines will go to 5200 RPMs. Um, it's, it's recommended that you do change the valve springs uh, when you do this upgrade. And we probably will get a set of aftermarket valve springs for it. And we'll walk you through that process as well. And if you have any comments or questions on this, uh, please, please feel free to, uh, uh, to comment me and I will answer them. Um, as we get the parts, we'll do the reassembly, a bit of cleanup, and uh, we'll uh, videotape that as well. I uh, hope this was helpful to you guys that are building these. And uh, thanks for watching.